Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. In this video, we're going to learn about Power Automate. Let's have a high level look at what are the things we are going to learn on this video. We will learn how to describe the business values and features in Power Automate and we will see how Power Automate works and looks from a user's perspective. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's first discuss what are the value of Power Automate. So do you find yourself regularly downloading email attachment and then uploading the file to the database? Power Automate can help. Does the process of getting a new purchase order approved involve you taking a form from a desk to desk to get sign off? Power Automate can help you there. Or do you have to log into a website every morning, find a daily number and then save those into another system? Power Automate can help you there as well. Power Automate is all about having computers manage repetitive tasks. Power Automates allow anyone with knowledge of business process to create a repeatable flow that when triggered leaps into action and performs the process. Some of the common scenarios and capabilities are automating of repetitive tasks like moving data from one system to another, guiding a user through a process so they can complete the different stages, connecting to external data sources via one of the hundreds of connectors or directly via an API, or automating desktop-based processes with robotic process automation capabilities. And Power Automate is used to automate repetitive business processes beyond simple workflows. Power Automate can send reminders on past due tasks move business data between systems on a schedule, talk to more than 275 data connectors or any publicly available API, and can even automate tasks on your local computer like computing data in Excel. All of this can be done by all skill levels from a typical business users to IT using Power Automate no-code, low-code platform. And this Power Automate comes with pre-built templates which you can use to automate workflows using any templates or any of your tailored automations. And this totally integrate with your Microsoft ecosystem directly and you can use it in on-premises or in the cloud as well. All right, so let's look at an example of how you can use Power Automate in a purchasing order approval workflow. Approvals are a great process to build in Power Automate. A user starts the process by going into Power Apps and creating purchase order request. Once they submit the request, the information is sent to the Power Automate flow. The flow can be built to evaluate the request and then route the request based on the criteria such as submitting user, such as submitting user and request amount. The first action could be to send the request to the user's manager. The manager could automatically retrieve from Azure AD, avoiding prompting for duplicate information. After the manager receives the approval and approves, the flow can then provide conditional logic. Typically, this might be something like, if the purchase order request is greater than $10,000, send it to VP. If not, then automatically approve the purchase order. As you can see, even the business process has many decision points. Your flow easily handles the decisions without you writing any code. So there are three types of flows you can create with Power Automate. Event-driven flows, business process flows, and UI flows. So what is event-driven flows? These are flows that you build with a trigger and then one or more actions. These are a multitude of triggers and actions available thanks to the existing connectors. You will see these as my flows and team flows in Power Automate. The only difference between a my flow and a team flow is ownership. With a my flow, you are the sole owner while the team flow has more than one owner. So what is business process flows? These flows are built to augment the experience when using model driven apps and a common data service. Use these to create a guided experience in your model-driven apps. And what are UI flows? These robotic process automation flows allow you to record yourself 
performing actions on your desktop or within a web browser. You can then trigger a flow to perform these processes for you. You can also pass data in or get data out of the process, letting you automate even manual business processes. Before the Power Platform, adding functionality such as image or text processing required an advanced computer or coding knowledge. There was code to write, data models to design and train, and a lot of complicated logic. The Power Platform, however, has democratized artificial intelligence by providing a wizard-based interface for building and training your model. This unlocks the power of Azure machine learning and cognitive services without writing a single line of code. To take advantage of the AI capabilities, you must first build a model. A wizard guides you through the building and training the model. And currently, there are four available AI models. First one is Form Processor. This model extracts text from an uploaded image or taken photo. The second option is Object Detector. This model identifies object from an uploaded image or taken photo and then provides a count of the number of objects present. Third option is called Prediction. This model predicts whether something will happen or not based on previous data history. And the last one is Text Classification. This model categorizes text by its meaning, making it is easier to analyze. True Green Customer Case Study is an example of how they use Power Automate to provide proactive and predictive services to their customers. As part of True Green's commitment to provide customers with, they need to live life outside and they have teamed up with Microsoft to provide better services. They built a new artificial intelligence enabled virtual agent bot. All right, so that concludes this lesson. In the next video, we will learn about how to build an automated solution. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.